All right, what is going on? I am back out here on the kayak, and I'm really happy to be back here on the kayak because I uh, had a bit of a mishap the other day. Well, I was heading out here for a nice fishing trip and had a little, had a little accident here. We got a pedal drive down. I repeat, pedal drive down. That sucks, man. <sighs> Pretty bummed out, dude. Pretty bummed out. Thankfully, I was close to shore and was just able to paddle myself back in relatively easy. I thought that was gonna keep me off the water for quite a while, though, with all this uh, COVID craziness going on. I know, like, Hobie shut down for a bit and everywhere's been backlogged. But uh, I was able to go to McGrew's in Charlestown in Rhode Island Kayak Center in Wickford and they hooked me up, man. They gave me all the parts I needed, put it back together for me, and I was back out on the water two days later. So huge shout out to those two places. If you have any kayak or boat needs, not just Toby, they got a lot of stuff. Check them out, man. They hooked me up and they'll hook you up too. All right, so the main target today is Fluke. Uh, I'm actually in a Fluke competition called Get Fluked. It's hosted by a tackle shop in uh, Portsmouth, if you're familiar with the area. Crafty One Customs, they do uh, cool little tournaments like this, man. It's, it's awesome because there's not a lot of places on the island that host like, you know, not absolutely crazy like thousand dollar entry like fishing tournaments. Um, so, Going for fluke, I got a bucktail and some gulp. We're gonna see what I can do. All right, I got this nice hot pink bucktail. Get in touch with my feminine side. And uh, this nice juicy gulp. This drives the fish crazy. Oh yeah, that's got some stank to it. Throw it on like so. Boom. Oh yeah, baby. That's fluke candy right there. And just drop it down and start jigging. Oh, I'm already hooked up. Nice. That took two seconds, dude. That was on the bottom for two seconds and I'm hooked up. Feels like an all right fish. Let's see what we got here. That's a jumbo sea bass. Jumbo sea bass. I might be catching a lot of these today. Oh, decent fish right here. I held this thing. I don't want to keep them, but that's a good sea bass right there. Probably pushing 18 inches or so. This is on the bottom for two seconds, so. That was pretty cool. Gulp is still good. Send it back down. Oh, missed him. Something's playing with me. My drag is a little too loose. Just to show you how it works, you can kind of see just by jigging it, the tail really flutters with that gulp. And that gulp is like, comes packaged with what I call fish stank all over it. So it's really smelly so it drives the fish pretty nuts so i've been getting waxed and i got one jumbo sea bass now i just need a jumbo fluke that i can go weigh in it's got to be 19 inches honestly 19 inches is a pretty big fluke that's the thing i don't really fluke like too often actually really never really the only time i catch fluke is this bycatch when i'm chunking for stripers i've never actually like targeted them but now that i have a kayak I guess it's a good time to start, but I'm probably gonna get absolutely smoked in this competition. So, we'll see. There we go. There's a decent fish. Ah, oh, lost. Dropped him. Ah, oh, I was jigging for a while for that fish. That felt decent. Felt better than that sea bass, which is pretty big. Ooh, what? Yeah, I wonder if the camera picked that up, but I was bringing the bucktail up just to check it, and I saw like a flash of brown real quick. 
Uh, I have no idea what it was. I didn't get a good enough look at it. It looked crazy big, but. Oh, all right, tough day, man. Uh, that's how it goes out here sometimes, but I'm kind of convinced that that fish I dropped is a fluke. It, it was fighting pretty fluky, and that one fish could have made the difference between a bad trip and a good trip. But hey, it's how fishing goes sometimes. Uh, enough of me babbling to myself. This is gonna cut to tomorrow morning. I'll be out here right around sunrise. Should be glass calm conditions or close to it. Uh, and hopefully there'll be less boat traffic and it'll be a little calmer so I can get to more spots around here that I wanted to get to today, but couldn't quite make it happen. Uh, so let's cut to tomorrow morning, shall we? All right, so this is a couple hours into next day's trip. Um, what you're about to see is me freak out over what I think is a school of Bonita at first. And I waste about yeah, a solid 40, 50 minutes chasing these fish around, throwing 10 after 10 at them. And then I went out and I talked to this guy, Carson, I know, and it ended up being a school of chub mackerel that have been around. Um, I was seeing flashes of green, so I was convinced it was Benito, and they're so fast, but it probably was mackerel because I just could not hook up with these things, and they were pretty small. It's some pretty cool footage. There's some pretty, like, crazy surface activity, but it ain't Bonito, man. It was chub mackerel, so a bit of a waste of time, but still pretty fun. They're right in front of me, guys. I can't get them to hit when I'm throwing. This is nuts. What the f <laughs> Holy shit. And they're being picky as all hell, dude. I cannot hook up with these fish. They're like right in front of me. This is such a weird little blitz. You guys tell me, what am I looking at? Are, are these Bonita, are these mini stripers, are these little snapper blues? What the heck am I doing? What is this? This is so crazy, these fish are so fast. I just cannot get them though, man. This is frustrating. This is really frustrating. <sighs> All right, I got my bucktail and gulp combo, trying a little different color scheme than yesterday. Hopefully I have better luck than yesterday jigging, but that was a really exciting morning. Even just seeing fish work like that gets my heart going. Uh, wish I got them, but shoulda, coulda, woulda. Oh, I'm already getting whacked by something. There we go. There's a fish. This feels like a decent fish, guys. Decent fish. Oh, nice. Good fluke. Hell yeah. Oh, I need my net. Oh, God, no. Oh, I was reaching for my net. Oh, God. That was not a bad fluke, dude. Oh, that sucks, dude. All right, they're around now. Let's get another one. Oh, dude, those things are masters of spitting the hook. All right, well, here's a little sit wrap. Uh, I've been jigging for a while, and I'll spare you guys the boring footage, but the bite wasn't that good. I was optimistic at first because I got that nice, nice fluke at the boat, and like a knucklehead, I didn't have my net ready and lost it. I mean, dude, those things will shake you every time at the kayak if you're not ready to net them, so that, that's my fault. But after that, it's just been tiny sea bass, a couple I've landed, and a couple just keep nipping the tails off my gulp. Maybe it's scup too, it's just bad bite, man, it sucks. And we got some possible weather coming in, so what I'm gonna do is I'm heading out to a little bit deeper water, gonna drop down a tube and worm, troll back to kinda near where I launched, do one last desperation attempt for fluke there, and then if not, call it a day. I'm starting to get pretty wiped, I've covered miles uh, today uh, i can't tell you what exactly but i've covered a lot of miles so see if i can't get a couple more fish 
to show for it because right now I'm not doing too good. All right, camera wasn't rolling sadly during the hookup, but about a, about a keeper fish on the tube, man. Hit it pretty hard, whacked it. Uh, definitely a spirit razor after the long fishless day I had. So it's a very welcome sight. Very welcome sight. Let's go. He's feisty, so he's probably gonna just swim right off. Oh, <laughs> come on, buddy. <laughs> there we go. Man, did I need that fish. <laughs> Oh God, that was, uh, I went a long time without catching a fish. I was getting pretty discouraged. Uh, shout out Carson out here on the water, hooked me up with some sandworms when uh, Sam's didn't have any left. So thank you, appreciate it. See if we can't pick up another striper. The fog and mist is starting to roll in though. So I don't know how long I have out here. Definitely do not like being on a kayak when it's foggy. That's a great way to just get clocked by a boat. So if it starts getting really any thicker than this, I gotta start heading back in. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, hooked up. Oh, this feels like a better fish. Maybe my drag is still a little loose from the troll, but got some fight in her. It's always when I blab away at the camera of what I'm doing next that I get hooked up. I think this is an okay fish, ladies and gentlemen. Keep my eye on how close I get to that rock. Get the net ready here. Now my draggers is loose. I don't even need to net them. That's actually smaller than the last one, but that was a good run. I think I'm on just like a pocket of schoolies right now. I'm marking them on the finder. Come here, buddy. It's all right. I got you. Probably take care of them right here. Not a bad fish. Healthy guy, small but spunky. See ya. I gotta get away from, away from this rock, dude. Yeah, right here you can see that's that massive school of schoolies. If I had to guess, because it seems like right when I pass in this area, I hook up or get a whack. So it's like shooting fish in a barrel right now. Tube and worm is a very, very deadly rig for a striper. Yeah, it's starting to get to the point where I'm having, I can still see land, but it's becoming, uh, oh jeez, this is ridiculous, dude. I just gotta tighten my drag up here. Oh my God, it's like every pass. <laughs> This is wicked fun, dude. I think this is, they're all around like schooly size. While you hear such a blistering run at first, I keep my drag loose and I'm trolling. So if like a big fish whacks it, it doesn't like spin my kayak around. But yeah, this is just, I could probably do this all day. There seems to be a crap ton of fish hanging out here. Yeah, they're all like schooly size though. They're not like giants. Where you at? There you are. So another around, nah, it's not even keeper size. That's uh, I'd call it like 25 maybe. Oof. He, this is a feisty fish though. Another one, saving the day. Stripers are saving this trip. <laughs> All right, well the fog's starting to get pretty bad out here. Yeah, I, I, I can barely see land right now, so I gotta get back into shore. Um, those stripers just saved the trip, man. That was a fun 20 minutes of just uh, crushing some schoolies. One might have been a keeper. But overall fun day, I just, uh, I'm not a good fluke fisherman. It's not a species I target often. I did something right. I got one keeper to the boat, but of course I blew it and he was gone. But uh, if you guys got any fluke tips, any uh, rigs you like to use or whatever, let me know. But yeah, it's gonna be the end of this video, but overall, fun day, man. 
fun day. I can't complain. Oh, <laughs> right in the accident. This was the fish right here as I was blabbing away. Another uh, 25, 26, but I uh, gotta get them in. Yeah, it's really foggy now, so I gotta go. But uh, see you guys on the next video.